All right, so we got one here that basically last night it wasn't wanting to run. And somebody made some adjustments on the stat and it started working. And so now it's not working again. It's calling for cooling down on the thermostat. It's warm. So that condenser motor's hotter than heck. That might be our issue. Be a real easy call. Okay, so let's take a peek here. Got her opened up. Look at that. That big old fat hog right there. 2011, contactor's done in 13. So, high dollar disconnect on this one. All right, so, that right there's one of our issues. I wonder what in the world that was that died. Left a leftover transformer in here, it's always nice. So, let's give that fan blade a spin just in case. It's good for another 30 years. It'll be fine. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those easy calls. Nothing exciting. So we think, you know what'll happen. It'll be low on refrigerant, compressor's blown up, something will be wrong. This little pig is a 60 by five at 370. And that compressor, I don't know if we can even tell what the heck it requires. It's kind of curious if it's the correct one because it was replaced once before. This has worked for nine years with that capacitor. So in reality, this is probably stupid, but I figure we'll just go ahead and check it anyway. You know, the 1% uh, solution here. So it's a Bristol. Denied. I don't have an app for them and they're out of business. It's not happening. Might as well go ahead and give it a little luxy over at the filters. Filters look fine, economizer's unhooked. Okay, so we're good there. No problems here. They had to build a capacitor here. Got a 45 by five and a 15, so that comes out to 60. Contactor, actually, you know, contactor, we're gonna change that too. So we got the new contactor in there. It's all wired up. It's got the bug shield on it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing back on, see if it runs. Check this belt real quick. Belt looks okay. No major issues there. I got her all back together. Let's go here and check this charge out. Cold, we're good. Checking our superheat. This is an orifice system, not a TXV. So we're gonna check that. Coil's a little bit dirty on that second piece. I mean, just a little bit. Superheat's way too low, so it's overcharged. Coil's probably dirty. Quite a bit of heat load down there. We should have a higher suction. You notice, now that subcooling's not accurate, so the ribs there. Tell a little something about what's going on here. Check the subcooling. All right, taking a look here at the evaporator. Clean. Filters, like I said already, were clean. Sounds like we're moving some air. So we may have some ductwork issues, which would not surprise me. Subcooling's up there around 25, which kind of confirms the coil's a little dirty. We gained a little heat here with the cover off, so we're sucking the outside air in. Our superheat's up there around 18, so she's starting to stabilize. Go ahead and close this back down and see what it does. Kind of has some good draw on it. See whether or not it drops back down. Just that heat load change right there. Look at the uh, suction already dropping. Here's to me, we don't have enough airflow. So like I said, 60 pound suction. Pretty much jack squat for superheat. Pull in a little outside air. That heat load comes in. That superheat's gonna jump up here in a second. There we go. Here, which is a good thing. But all we can do is go downstairs and look and see if 
we've got some return airs that are blocked off or whatever the case but everything looks good once we get some real real return air going on now we could emic a maybe a 10 inch return there see how that does still just some massive air there in all reality i mean they should be pulling some outside air in but it's all unhooked minimum positioning's gone almost instantaneously comes right back up so got to go downstairs take a look what sucks is it's been like this for how many years it's got one Oh, that's why it's not working right. <laughs> Can't do that. So this guy's telling me that they blocked it off, but I'm looking at the return here and it looks fine, but they have a filter in there that's kind of dirty. There you go. Goes on over that away. There's your supplies. It's quite a distance away. So we're wide open there. You can see it's all up in there. Looks like there's your duck sensor right there. But here's what we got. Got a high efficiency filter in there and these things hardly ever get changed. I don't know if they... Yeah, somebody built that. That's kind of ingenious. But yeah, this is... This is in the freaking ceiling grid. Some of you younger guys may not have seen these. They may not be popular in your area. This is the April Air filter. They were real popular back in the day. And uh, it kind of just folds up like that right there. It don't look horrible, but I'll tell you this much, this pressures and super heat sucked. Ain't, well, I don't know. I'm just gonna change it. Can't go from there with it. All right, so we went ahead and left it out. I talked to the people in charge and I even called some of our guys and asked them about it and they thought we had removed it when we replaced the unit. So somebody probably was used to putting it back in and they just kept doing it. And supposedly it was just changed in April. So um, basically we're just going to leave it out because it's killing my superheat. All right, guys, that wraps that one up. It's just one of those weird oddities. How did it last all those years? So, I mean, in all reality, it probably would have survived, but I'm not taking the chance. You seen it was wrong. I corrected it. It's better now. You know, back in the day, they used to have smoking in this uh, bar, and now they don't. So it's not needed. The evaporator's perfectly clean. It has two inch filters in there, so they're good to go. We got everything taken care of. Everything's wrapped up. That's the end of the day. It's also the end of the video. If you guys liked it and you want to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.